Hey, oh. I didn't even have my mic over here ready. Look how professional I am, guys. Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. I hope everyone's doing good. I'm sorry if I, you keep hearing me smacking my mic. I can't help it. Um, today, I'm going to be messing around with a bit of a Nux.js on stream. Um, God, lift the mic up slightly. There we go. There we go. Hello, hello. Um, hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Um, hello, Yusuf. Daniel, yes. Uh, yo! Um, yes, I love the Nux.js. It looks really cool, man. I've been using it to mess around with uh, building a blog for myself. Just testing at the minute. Uh, CRT, hey, how's it going? Um, hey, man, hey. So, so uh, Richard, you're, the last bit of your name is Richard, so I'm calling you Richard. Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, Asim said, hey, hey, yo, hey, man, how's it going, dude? I hope you're all doing well. Hope everybody's all... All good, everyone's tuned in. Um, we're just going to wait a minute just to see, uh, get a few people in here just so we don't start and, you know, lose a few people along the way. Cause they didn't get to start, you know, you know. Uh, I'm just programming with Python, just started. Oh, nice, man, Python's cool. I need to get back into it and actually start using it more, but, yeah. Uh, good to be here. Ah, that's cool, Hansa, Hansa Jurassic. 73. I don't know how I pronounced that name, but I tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, good to be here. That's awesome. Uh, checking your channel and learning more. Thank you so much. Hey, Yusuf, you're 100% welcome, man. All this material I do is for you guys to learn and, you know, just be better yourselves, basically. Um, how can I get ideas for project? Uh, Florin Pop has a great, um, repository, Git repository with loads of projects you can get started on. Um, head over to, if you just Google Florin Pop, uh, project ideas, I think it will come up as one well, of the top links or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool resource. Um, just so everybody knows, while we've got people here before we start, um, we have now launched memberships. Now I know it's a paid for it's a paid for subscription. The lowest price is one pound ninety nine. I don't know what that is in everyone's currency, and I, it would probably take me too long to list it all off. And I know it's not available in everyone's country, and a lot of people are upset that they can't get it because obviously they want to be in the membership only live streams. Um, I'm sorry about that. It's nothing I can actually do until YouTube actually release it um, for the memberships, essentially. Um, so memberships will be released and off, um, they'll be released linear. They will come to your country eventually. They, I mean, they'll be for pretty much everywhere, I hope, in the future. Uh, but for now, it's nothing I can do, so I'm sorry about that. But anyone who does want to become a member, I'm completely grateful. And we will be doing some live streams only for members in the future, so you guys get that worth. There'll be more. It'll be obviously more interactive where you can get... Um, closer to me in terms of you don't have everyone else's message there it's just you me and any other member which would work um, better for most people and we'll be doing some more like live streams like this where we actually test out things in them so thank you to everyone who uh, has become a member so far so without further ado guys let's get started with these nux stuff so how can i get ideas yeah just go to florin's channel it's probably where the best place we've got 14 people up in here so we're going to start with some nux um the first thing guys um Obviously, one of the best things you can probably do is if we go, if you've checked out the documentation, let me just bring it on screen here. Here you go. Um, I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll see. Um, you've got this uh, get started stuff, right? Um, and it's great. So you can see here, it gives you the pre uh, prerequisites. I can't pronounce that. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. I'm sorry. Uh, prerequis re pre pre the pre stuff, the stuff you get before you do. <laughs> Um, node at least 13.10 we recommend you have the latest uh, LTS version installed yes I do a uh, text editor VS code is what I'm using uh, with the future extension uh, I think I have that installed I'm not sure I have to check a uh, terminal we recommend using VS code integrated terminal I just use my own terminal um, but you can do it with npx, right? And you don't even have to install it. All you have to do is run npx, create, nuxt app, and then the project name. So that's what we're going to do to start with to get started. Um, so yeah, uh, let's move this back over to a different screen because else it'll be in the way. Um, Google Chrome. Uh, yeah, go over there. Um, yeah, so if we just, let's say, paste that in. Um, and let me just swap screen so I can see your chat messages. Uh, you can't see my... Idiot. Idiot, absolute idiot. Yep, sorry guys. Let me just swap to the actual desktop with face cam. Uh, transition. Here we are. And also my small face cam is messed up. Let me just fix that. Uh, do, 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 do. I will show you what I'm doing in a second. 
There we go. Now back to the 320. Click done. There we go. For some reason it messed up. Um, has it transitioned? There we go. Um, Tyler, how many frameworks do you know? Oh, too many, man. Too many. Um, sorry. So, yeah, don't worry. I'll zoom this in in a second. Um, it will do it now quickly. All the way zoomed in. Um, I'm just going to delete that. So, basically, what I was showing you was... Um, Let's bring this back over now quickly. Uh, F3, grab this. So I'll show you this page. So if you head over to the nuxjs.org docs, right, um, you get this page and you get the pre this word. <laughs> you guys heard how, how I struggled earlier. Um, and it gives you these. You need to know these. I'm not going to go over any of this uh, with you because it would take too long and it would waste up our whole hour. Well, we don't even have an hour. We have 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to be using the Create Nuxt app MPX here. Um, you can either use Yarn or some other things, but I'm just going to use MPX. It's the best one. It's NPM. Um, you just need NPM installed to use MPX. Um, but yeah, it creates a little project. So if we go back over to the terminal. Um, is that zoomed in enough, or do you want it a bit more zoomed in? Is that better? Is that better? Um, do you need me to zoom in any more? Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, we could just run MPX, create... Is it Nux that? Oh god, I forgot already. It's create MPX create Nux app. And then we can type in our project name. So I'm actually gonna CD into a different directory. Sorry, bear with me. Uh boop boop desktop temp YouTube. YouTube. Nope. Projects. Tutorials. Tutorials. There we go. Um and then I'm just gonna write MPX oh MPX uh create Nux. App and then give it a name. We'll just call this uh, getting started. If I can actually type in, if we hit enter, this could, this could take up to a few minutes, guys. Um, but it'll just start creating us a next app. It should ask us about uh, what settings we want uh, when we create this. Um, and we'll go through those in a minute. Well, it's fine now. Good, good. I'm happy it's fine now. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, 16 people up in here. Say hello if you want to chat. Add so many questions you got about Nux or anything like that. Fire them in the chat below. And here we go. So as you can see here, project name, getting started. That's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use JavaScript, NPM. Um, I'm not going to use any of these because I'm just going to mess around with it. So I'm just going to click none. Uh, I'm going to select every single one of these because PWAs, you know, awesome. Uh, Axios, again, Awesome. Uh, it's basically a better version of Fetch, the Fetch API. Uh, and then content. So content is what I've been messing around with for my blog. And I'll show you how that works soon. So if I just click enter, uh, I'm not going to use any of these for now. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those for now. Uh, SSR is what I'm going to use, um, which stands for uh, Surface Side Rendering. Uh, um, and then we can go for uh, Node.js. I think. I don't know if I selected that right. <laughs> I want no JS hosting. Uh I probably should have went for static. It's fine. It's fine. We can use that. Um and then the top one. Uh GitHub username. Uh Git control sister version control. We don't I actually ain't gonna use version control system, so I'm gonna be putting on a link for anyone for today, but yeah. Uh Sharon said, if you do a Nux child with loading components dynamically, that would be awesome. Um, I would do that, but I haven't got that far myself in learning. So I'll, once I get there, I will do a video on it. Um, P. Sung said, is there a way to speed up your NPM? Uh, no, unless you have faster internet and probably uh, SSD and stuff like that. I don't, because it's obviously downloading stuff to your hard drive or your SSD or wherever, wherever your storage is. So um, no, there's not really. It's faster internet, preferably. Um Asim said, I'm going to ask the most asked question straight up. Uh, what do you prefer if you use JS, Vue, or React? I don't know if you've been using Angular at all. Personally, I don't like it. No, I hate Angular. Uh, nothing against it. Like, massively, I just don't like how it works. Um, and it's Vue.js. It's always Vue.js for me, guys. It's it, Vue.js wins. Uh, hey, man, I think you should do a lot of clones with Nux.js, like YouTube clone, Airbnb, and all those. You get me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get you, Richard. Uh, yeah, I, I'll do some clones. Uh, Richard, you Nigerian. Uh Good question. Um, Nightbot is here to tell it to remind us to subscribe. I really need to change that. It like spams the message chat. I swear. Uh, Sharon said thanks, man. Hey, you're welcome, dude. Uh, how do you host a Nux project for static? I use Git pages. You can. I accidentally clicked Node here. Um, I don't think it's gonna affect us too much because we're not actually gonna host it. But um, normally I would use just static, and you can host it any way you want. Git pages would work. Um, 
npm run build. No, we want npm run build. Run uh, def. So we cd into it. npm run def. But before I do that, I'm going to run code dot and open it up with Visual Studio Code. Um, I'm just going to zoom that up. That's fine. Let's go back. Oh. Uh, hello you let's move you to a different screen uh you know we'll put you there because we'll probably need you in a minute uh and then we'll say npm run def so let's hit enter and that should start up it takes a minute so while that does that let's go into here um i'm going to zoom in one on this um just you can see it um i'd love to see that type of content awesome man uh what's nuxjs nuxjs is like few cross no js or it's like a surface side rendering version you can do surface or you could single page application um off uh, few JS. Um, let me be more specific. How do you host a Nux project with some dynamic pages in it? Uh, I don't know. 100%, Paul. Um, I can't answer that off the top of my head. Um, Richard said, Daniel, yeah, man. Uh, did you try Storybook with Nuxjs to build? No, I haven't even looked. I haven't really built many. I've just been building like straight up uh, pages. I haven't really been doing components or UI stuff. I've just been using my own framework. It's a Vue.js framework. Um, what is? <laughs> Storybook. I, 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 I think I know that. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, back to uh, Nux.js. So we've got loads of these things. Now, one of the content, Nux and content, right? You can use markdown pages as your um, content. So your, how do you put this? Basically, use the content pages as your um, like posts. You can use it as your posts. You can use it as your pages. You can just have Markdown instead of having to write um, like a CMS system or WYSIWYG enter or anything like that. You can use Markdown, which is awesome. As a developer, that 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 makes me happy. Um, I don't know about you guys. Um, I have a free mail channel. I really like your content. I can give you a shout out. Uh, Naman, that's up to you, dude. I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to, dude. Um, I wouldn't ask for it, and I, I can't give you anything in return for it. So, But thanks anyway. Uh, never seen that before. Um, what, content? So, yeah, mark, it's, I love Markdown, and being able to use Markdown is pretty cool. So let's go back and just see if this started. So you can see it started now. So if I click this, is that going to open it? Yeah, open URL. Boop. And as you can see, we get the getting started page. Obviously, it gives all this. So this is what you get when you first start out. And now these are under pages and index view. You can see it all here. So if we change this to, let's say, uh, hello, YouTube, save. And you can see this is a few template here. So we've got the few, the export, and all the CSS um, inside the style here. Um, and if we head over to this, it says, hello, YouTube. So hello, everyone. Um, that's cool. Um, pages. So yeah, middleware. I've never used this yet. Um, so I'm just going to delete it for now. Don't need it. You can remove it if you want. Layouts. Now, layouts is your gen generic layouts. Let's say if we put in something in here, say just say hello for now, and we go back over, you see hello appears at the top here. So what happens is like your overall page layout. So you can have different layouts as well. Um, but this is how it renders. So it uses this Nux component to render the pages inside of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously you've got some default styling here. We're just going to leave all the styling as it is. I don't want to mess around with styling on this. Um, so Nux, uh, you got plugins. Again, I haven't used it, but you know. Uh, and you've got a static. So the static stuff is where you put your images and stuff like that. But you can also render stuff from like your assets folder and stuff if you want to as well. Uh, I use some CSS and stuff in my assets folder. Uh, some SAS files which compile down. Um, so it's pretty awesome. And then you've got components. Uh, so you've got a logo here. So we're importing this. Here, you can see logo, it's being imported. Now, you can see we're not actually importing it using the script, and that's because we have a global components folder that's obviously bringing it all in. Um, and if we go to Nux config, you can see all these stuff we're bringing in here. So you've got um, different configuration. Let me just close this sidebar quickly. Um, so you've got the title off the page. This is all the metadata, essentially, what goes in the head. So you've got your links, which would be a Fafacon. Um, description um, and all this stuff obviously just standard stuff you can import extra CSS so in here if you add a, a CSS file for example you could go oh wrong one at slash asset slash uh, main dot CSS or if it's in a CSS folder like that um, then obviously in your structure it would be inside assets and inside here um, it's really cool really cool little tool um, and I like it it's very nice uh, it works really well so you could just drop in a bunch of array items in there um yeah so that's a few things you can do um i'm gonna get on to more of the in-depth stuff in a minute obviously you've got all the settings for all your stuff here so you've got the content stuff here it gives you all the um 
uh, stuff you can actually look at here if you want to learn how to configure it, what uh, options you have and stuff. So you can always click into that. Um, and if you get stuck, obviously, you've got the global CSS one as well and stuff like that. So that's always nice. Um, yeah, well, it's just really cool. So if we was to create another page in here, right, let's create a new page. Let's call it blog.few, for example. And then in here, we just do few. Um, it, off that just creates me a new template. And I could just say diff, oh, diff with a h1 that says hello, or this is the blog. This is the blog. Hit save. Now you'll see I haven't got any, I'm not, I'm not going to call it anywhere. I'm just going to, let's put a link in here. So you could do something called nuxt link, right? And you could say two. And we can say forward slash blog. Now this is just going to link us to a, uh, the page forward slash blog on our thing from the root. Uh, Nuxt, oh that should be hyphen link. Um, and in here we'll just say blog. Uh, I'm just going to steal the styling for these. Um, just, just a class, just a class. Uh, just so it doesn't look too terrible. Uh, save, go back. And now you can see we've got a blog. So if we click this, you can, so it takes to this is the blog page. Um, so yeah, that's nice. What do you guys think of uh, Nux if anyone's used it? Um, do you know TypeScript? I do know TypeScript, I just don't use it because I prefer just using vanilla JavaScript for everything. Um, let's talk on Twitter, bro, and Nux things up just like our man Tyler. <laughs> I feel like there's been a love relationship happening there. Uh, when Nux 3 will be ready to use? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the developers have released anything on Nux 3 about release dates or when it'll drop or if it has even already dropped. Um, I haven't really looked into it. I've just been using the uh, latest stable version. Um, but yeah, definitely look into it. Or if anyone know how can answer him, please do answer him. Um, so yeah, Nux link is how you do a link. You can also use an anchor tag, um, but it's preferred to use the Nux link because um, obviously it's a built-in Nux link. It does what it does. Um, let's. So yeah, you can create blogs. You can also, for example, let's say we go here, go new folder, and create a blog folder. Now, if we drag our blog in here, we can. Yep, move. Now we can go into blog, we can rename this to index.view and then we've got this index. So it would still work the exact same, but this time inside a folder, um, which then you can then add other things. So you can add something called a slug here, dot view, and this could this is basically how we can get the content in. Now there's something we have to do beforehand, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, so there's actually a resource I have, I've been looking at into this. Just going to reference it quickly. Uh, Nuxt, creating a blog with Nux. So I'll show you this in one second, guys. Uh, F3, let's bring this over here. Boom. So this article by Debbie O'Brien um, on Nux, the link is, oh, it's not even showing. Hello, refresh. Show me the link. There you go. So the link is up there. Um, I don't know if I need to zoom in for that. No, you guys will be fine. You can read it, right? Um, it just gives you everything, how you start your first blog using the content nux content and it's just genuinely awesome um there's a lot you can do with it um my screen is froze sorry um there we go um cool and one of the things you want to do is if we scroll down here obviously it tells you how you add it if you haven't if you ha if you've got a project and you want to start using markdown you can add it by using npm install nux like that um you can create a new folder called content. So how we have it here, you can see we've got content here. You've got the hello one. They also recommend you create, create an article. So if you're doing blog, you can create an articles folder. Create a, and then let's say if we just drag hello into there, move. Uh, and then we've got it in there. And that's how they recommend to do it. Uh, is Xcode for Mac any good? Um, I've used it a few times, but I just prefer VS Code for everything. Uh, I will rewatch this live when late. Thanks for thingy. Uh, Frank F, thank you for subscribing, dude. I appreciate it. Um, also, da -da, to have a few free is out, but foe, but I think Nuxt free is in beta. Yeah, I think Nuxt isn't, like, you can't use the composition API with Nuxt yet, I don't believe. Um, yeah, so it tells you everything here. You create your first blog post, you add your blog in. And then to display it, it tells you here, you create a blog underscore slug. And in this slug, see this script here? This basically gets you, um, so if I just copy the inners of this, um, copy, you get, you pass through content. So you use async data that you can pass through content and the params. And the params is obviously what you use to get the slug, which would be, for example, forward slash hello, which is our name. Uh, it's easier to show you than to write it because I'm, I'm not that brainy. Um, and if I just go in here, Oh, no, I actually need to put that in here. There you go. So now it's in there. And then we go back. 
Um, and we go up here. Yeah, you can see here you get this Nux content um, element. So if we go to the top here, just replace this with the Nux content. I just, I'm not writing this out because it will take me longer to write out than it would be just to copy it. Uh, Paul, I'll answer that question later. Uh, <laughs> it's not a question I'm going to answer on stream. Um, Nux content. So document, article, um, and this is how you basically render it. So the document we're passing through is going to be the content we want to display. So what we want to display, which we get from articles. So we're going away, content, article. So this article refers to, see inside our content, it's the folder we're in. And then the params.slug, it's going to grab whatever file name we pass through as the slug. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And then we return it here. So now if we go back... Wrong way, this way, no. Where did I have it? F3. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Dumb thing in my way. Um, so yeah, if we go back into... Yeah, over here. And we go blog. Now let's say forward slash. And then we say hello. Not hello, well, just hello. You can see we get that content from inside the markdown file. So if we delete everything in here quickly. So if I go up here, I come up here and I just do a title saying... Hello world, save, and then just so we do some content. This is my first blog post, save. And I go back over here. You can see we get hello world. Let me zoom in a little, 500%. <laughs> hello world, this is my first blog post. And we can create enough of these. Let's say we wanted to create enough for article. So we create a new file and we say this one's called second.md. Uh, we can just you don't have to have that top stuff see this up here But it is used to pull through you can pull this stuff through and then use it as elements inside your slug here And I'll show you that in a minute um, if we go to second we just do uh, This is for second post Do you like it question mark save now if we go back and we just put up here forward slash second You can see we get the second post which is pretty awesome, right guys? I think that's pretty awesome um uh, add me up on Twitter. Sorry, Paul, some reason it blocked you there. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Should you not use Fuex if you use Composition API? Uh, no, you can. You can use Fuex if you want to. If you use comp It's a hard one because you can use both. You can use them co coexistently. So you can use them both together. And in Fu3, they've made it in a different way. You can implement it. But I don't want to go over that right now because, again, that will take a while. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, you can see here this second post, if we go back to hello, we get the hello one, and then if we go back to just the blog, we get this is the blog, which is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to swap over to my, actually, no, I'm not, I'm going to stay on this. Um, so it's just loads of basic things you could do. You make everything look so easy, Tyler. Paul, I promise you, I, I, I don't for everything. There is, I, I, I only show you guys what I want to show you. <laughs> if I'm going to have any issues, I would uh, definitely, you know, um, definitely have some. I'd definitely be like, yep, nope. <laughs> There'll be some moments that you'll see that aren't me. Um, for some reason, my live chat is saying it's off. So I'm just going to turn that back on. Although you guys are talking, so I don't get that. That's weird. That's weird, bro. Um, but yeah, cool. So let's... Um, Let's crack on. We've had 200 people hop into this uh, stream so far. That's crazy. Um, all right. So, yeah, back over on this stuff. So, there's so much stuff you can do. And, like, it obviously goes through all the concepts. The documentation is great. Like, I'm going to learn um, Nux Child next, I think, as uh, Shannon asked for earlier. Ne Nux Child is apparently really cool. Um, features, Nux components. There's so many different things you can look at. Um, Kel Fesu said, recently I use Nux and I'm loving it. Dude, I am, I've am. i literally just started using it again. So I stopped using it for a while and I've got back into it and I'm like, I can't stop using it. I can't wait to make my next uh, blog based on this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build a blog on this and I'll, I'll maybe go through that whole blog with you once I've done it. Um, but yeah, there's so many, look, it gives you all the directories and stuff you can read. So I'm just going through what you can learn about this um, on here. There's so many different things on the actual Nux uh, website. So yeah, you can, I love the content. I love that I can use Markdown, by the way. It just makes me so happy. Um, cool. So if we go down to... Um, we can actually pull through some stuff from this. So, well, is this the Nux content? It is. It is. Uh, we can actually get some bits from this, I believe. Um, 
I think, is it content we pass through? Is it article? So we return article, and I think we could do article dot. Is that correct? So if we have a title, can I just... Let's just test it, guys. If I do a H2 here and I just go article dot title, save, go back. Oh, hello. No, it doesn't look like that's work. What do I do for that? There is something I need to run to get that to work. Uh, I'm just going to look at this thing I was talking to you guys about earlier. Default injected variables. That's what we want to look at. So pre-article tag drops everything like that. We can go through here. Oh, yeah. So apparently it should just work like this, right? Okay. If we go back to our hello, we have a title called getting started. So this should be showing when we go up here. But it's not. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm not on the hello page. Hello. There we go. Ah, oh, cool. So it does work, guys. You can see it does work. I was just being an idiot. Someone probably said that in the chat or was going to. Whoops. Um, yeah. So you can actually use variables from here. So you can see we've got the description too. So if we go to our slug here and we just say uh, paragraph and we can inject the article dot um, description. You can also do images and everything in this. There you go. So the text is there. Let's zoom out now because we're 250, 250%. <laughs> so zoomed in. Um, empower your Nux.js application with Nux content module, blah, blah, blah. So this is the description. As you can see, it's just pulled it straight in. And then we've got our content, which is down here. So you can actually have a template around, let's say, your blog that you can then uh, pass everything through, um, which is pretty cool. Um, have you done Android development, seen that you got a game in Google Store? Uh, yeah, I've done Android development, but that game was built with Unity, so not actual, like, Java or anything, or Kotlin. Um, but, yeah, no, I've done a bit of Java Android development, not much, and I couldn't build a whole app from scratch, if you ask me to, unless I use something like React Native or something like that. I, I have used React Native to create some apps, uh, but, yeah, I've done a little bit, just a little bit. I dabbled in it, just a tad, just a tad, just a tad, um, but, yeah. Oh, okay, guys, so we've still got 10 minutes, so we could either go through a couple of small bits or we can just, uh, you know, how we can integrate PHP on this or the only way is with API. Um, I've seen people using, is it Nux and Laravel? Um, so I assume you can. I haven't done it myself. Again, I just use, I'm just loving the uh, content API. Uh, Nuxt and uh, Laravel. Let's have a look. I'll let you know. Let's have a look what we got here. Yeah, there's a Nux Laravel starter kit. There's a lot of things on it, so you can definitely can. I don't think I can give you Nux Laravel Nuxt. Um, oh, fits its site. Yeah, that's what I want to see, please. Thank you. Um, I want to see the system for this. Yeah, cool. So it looks like it sets up like a client, which would be your Nuxt app, right? And then, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see my screen, can you? One sec. Let me bring this over. Loop, loop. So if you use, oh, that was wrong, but sure. Um, you can see here, if I go, yeah, there's the root. There's a thing called Laravel Nuxt, which obviously someone's used. You can often make your own. I, I don't know how I haven't done it. But um, you can see you've got your app, you've got your bootstrap, you've got all your stuff, and then you've got the client, which is your Nuxt stuff, I believe, because you, you've got your pages, yeah, home.view, welcome.view, and then you've got auth in there, which is obviously built into this, so they've added auth automatically. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it uses Laravel 8, Spa. Obviously, you want to ask about PHP specifically, though, don't you? Um, I believe it, it's as simple as setting up a separate app and you just hook it in. So let's say we're here, right? You create some PHP in this. this would, you put this in, let's say, a client folder, right? All this stuff. And then you create a PH, all your PHP stuff around that. And then you just you, you render this and you use the API to hook into the... Um, you, you pull the con you with Nux, you always pull the content. It's not like you build it into it. You will pull the content from wherever you're getting it from. So you need some sort of authentication like a JWT token or something like that or some other way of uh, authenticating yourself. Um, but you definitely, you'd hook up the PHP and you'll just inject it in essentially. You pull it through through an API. Um, you Kind of how this is going here. You see async data. If you want to pull data through, you would use obviously... Uh, you, you probably won't pull through articles. You pull through um, uh, a URL um, using Axios. Um, so reason I installed Axios, obviously I wasn't going to show you anything Axios. I just installed it because I do it in enough video. Uh, but Axios is super useful um, and you can use it to pull through uh, data, obviously, when you want to. 
Uh, I hope that answers your question. I know it wasn't exactly, and I can't show you exactly how to do it. But yeah, that's that's kind of what you do. Um, but yeah, this is just a mini introduction to this, guys, because I literally just love how it is. And I don't know if there's anything you guys want me to go over. Um, but I believe if we create a new thing in here as well, and we create not in articles inside of content, and I create a new file inside there, and I call it um, test.md, and I just go test. This is a test. Save. I don't know if we can just go forward slash test now. If you can, that is amazing. No, you can't. I think you'd have to set up something. Oh, God, that's zoomed in. <laughs> I think. Let's see if we can get this working. So we created just one in the root now. So if we go to um, pages in here and we just go underscore slug dot view in the main area and we just copy out our slug view here as well. I just want to test this. I don't even know uh, if this is going to work. And instead of this, uh, is it root or do we post nothing? Do we pass anything through? Is it just params? I don't know how this will work. Let's just see. <laughs> it's probably not going to work. Uh, what did I name that thing? Hello, right? Hello, not found. Uh, throw new error page, slug. Yeah, so content. Document now. I don't know how we do that. Anyone know? Anyone got a clue? It's why I did it on stream so you guys can tell me. Because, again, I, I'm learning this myself at the minute. I'm, I'm going to do a video in the future, but only once I've, I've mastered it and be able to do it. So any Nux pros out there, how would we render this page default to, uh, like, let's say, a template slug? Is that how it works? Or do I have to do something else? I'd assume it'd be something similar to how we did it in um, a folder. But how do we do it in a non-folder? Would I just call hello? Hello. Do I just call hello? Is that a thing? Nope. No, that didn't work. Params.slug? Do I just do a params? Ooh, I'm delete. I'm, I'm doing the wrong things. Whoops. Uh, Tyler, let's stop. Params.slug. Nope, still didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what uh, how you do that yet, but it's definitely something I'm going to look into. Um, also, I think we can actually loop through. If we go down here, there is something that allows us to list all... Is this it? No, that's the next and previous component. List all the blog posts. Here we go. All right, if we go to, oh, someone said it, add a directory for hello, then add the index.view. Add a directory for hello, then add the... Oh, I see. So in pages, this should be hello. Is that correct? Or a directory for you, and this should be index.view oh I see wait so if we go if we create a folder called hello and then index.view like this and then slug goes in here I don't know if that's true so this is it this would do it do I have to do anything else or is that working I probably should put something in here, shouldn't I? <laughs> Wait, do I put the stuff in slug inside of here? Kelfesu, I'm completely relying on you for this because my brain is not going to do this for me. Well, there's nothing. We got an empty page lo loaded. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Because I assume we have to pull the... Can we just pull... Can I just put in here? Hello, not found. Damn it! <laughs> I 
All right, sorry, back to what I was doing anyway. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, is it over this side? Yes, ASIC data. And on here, if we go to our blog here, and I paste this in here. So now what this is doing is it's pulling through. We actually only need description and that. We don't need anything else. Created that. Uh, sure. Uh, fetch articles. So what this is doing is pulling through all the articles we have inside of our article space. So you see we've got two here, right? We're getting the params.slug uh, and pulling through the articles. So if we go in here, we can actually loop through. I'm just going to copy this out of here. Um, we can actually loop through them. So you can see we've got a fee for here, standard few stuff, article in articles or off articles. Uh, and then we get the article slug is the key. Um, and then we pass through a Nux link too. So this will take us to, but we don't need an image. Um, we don't need an author name. We just need a title and description. Save. And if we go back and we go to blog, you can see we get the link. So the second one is there because we have two, but in our second, we don't have the... Um, Stuff we have in hello. So you see we've got this. Let's copy that. Go into uh, hello. No, a second. <laughs> and let's paste this at top. So we call this second post. And then in here we just say this is for second. Save. Go back. There you go. You can see it's now here. So we can even click into this. And it didn't work. What happened? An error occurred. Please check. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wait. Go back. Go to slug. Next, wait, where did we build that thing? It's an index, isn't it? Uh, Nux to blog slug. Should that just be blog? Oh, we didn't. <laughs> I think we need a slug param, uh, which is second. Right. Save. Hello. Uh, slug, which would be hello no uh, an error code rendering a check developer uh, yes <laughs> we still got the same question sorry my bad uh, da -da -da. let's go back here so why isn't this one working does it have to be in a string uh, da -da. if anyone's got any ideas by the way I'm not 100% sure so blog getting started so the issue is it's not going to this. If it went to this, it would work. So why isn't it going to that? It's something to do with my... I've got too many things. Let's close it all. And let's reopen the uh, blog. Oh, let's delete that as well because that's probably getting in the way somehow. Uh, slug. So no, no, that's fine. Index. So Nux2 name blog slug. Is it just blog? Because that's our slug. Or is that something you need to pass through? So params is slug, article, slug. Was I supposed to pass through slug in here? Yep, I think I was. Um, go back. Uh, no such error. Da, da, da. What did I do? Uh, slug view. No such file. Error slug. Mm, what did I do? Delete that. Um, uh, no such file. Getting started. Pages. Hello. Underscore slug. Yeah, I know. We got rid of it. Did I? Do I need to restart my thing now? Is that going to be an issue? I think we have to restart. My bad. Um, Sixteen people up in here. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good time. We're just waiting for this to reload. And it's reloaded. Oh, no, and it's still loading. Oh, and I'm sorry, I just punched my mic. I think that should now have fixed it. There you go. Blog. We go to getting started. There you go. Now it works. What did I change? <laughs> I forgot what I changed, guys. Uh, I think it was something to do with... Oh, yeah, we need to pass through the slug. So I, was, I, was, I wasn't passing through the slug. Um, and now I am. Um, and now we go back and we click second post. You can see we go back to the second post. And then here you can actually obviously render out some blocks here, some components, like card components that show these as cards. Um, again, pretty awesome, man. I love this stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's where it's at at the minute, guys. So I'm not going to do any more on uh, Nuxjs today, guys. Um, but 
is there any questions you have for me before we go today? Is there any uh, anything you think you want me to see? Do you want to see more of Nux, like a proper tutorial, not just me showing you on stream things I think I've learned and obviously making a few mistakes along the way? Uh, but yeah, what do you guys want to see going forward? My chat is... I don't know if my chat is not working, it's froze, or if anyone's actually messaged in the past, like, 20 minutes. Uh, let's clear this. LS, clear. Uh, quit that. Uh, cool. Give me that. Yes, so, uh, I'm going to bring you guys over here now. There we go. All right, guys, so, uh, anyone got any questions for me before I go today? Is there anything you want to see on this? Um... And I have made food. I have food made for me. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go, guys, because I got food made for me. But any questions before I go? You've got literally a couple of minutes. Fire away, fire away. Flutter versus React Native. React Native for me, I haven't used Flutter personally. I've used it like to test something. I didn't like it, so maybe I'll go back to it soon. Uh, your choice. Mine would be React Native, hundred percent. My missus made me food, so I'm gonna have to go in a sec. <laughs> um, all right, guys. There doesn't seem to be a flux of uh, chat message coming through, but for now, guys, thank you guys for tuning into the stream. I really appreciate. It. Oh, why are you not trying to make a free course on YouTube with you plus? No. Why you are not trying to make a free course on YouTube with you plus Nust? J you mean Nuxt? Why am I not trying to make a free course? Um, I will be. I'll be making a course. It, it won't be an in-depth course because I'll be saving the in-depth one for my paid course. Um, but I will be doing a free version as I do with everything on my YouTube channel for you guys to get started and start learning. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next stream. It, don't forget to join the Discord. The Discord is down below. We get a big community. People are starting to get a chatty in there and it's a bit of fun. So thank you guys for 